Hi, I'm Zendata, here at Villarreal Jr. Welcome to BJ Assisted Instruction C++ Programming Series. Our topic for today is about printing text on the screen. In our previous lesson, in Lecture 1, under the BSIT11 folder, there's a what do you call Lecture 1, and we created this topic. And right now, we are in our Lecture number 2. Now, let's proceed. Now we can click new project, then we can go to Visual C++, Win32 console application, and under the name, okay right here in the text box, we're going to replace this with uh, lecture 2, and same within the solution name, lecture 2. Don't forget the location, it should be on the BSIT11, which we created on our previous lesson. Now let's click OK. Then, next is we're going to click next under console application and under the application setting, we're going to uncheck the pre-compiled header and then check the empty project. And afterwards, we can click finish. Then we can wait for the creation of the folder and the file and right now we have here so under the lecture 2 uh, folder we have the source files folder right click right here and then go to add then click new item and then we have here the C++ or .cpp file below is the source .cpp we're going to replace the source with our first program lecture 2 send that huh? underscore Comprog to the score lecture two that CPP. Okay, so we can click add and then we have the CPP uh, file. Then we can code right here, but you will notice the text is not visible, so we can go to our zoom and we can go to 20 okay then we can start by typing sharp include io stream then we have integer main then we have begin and we have the end okay so this is the the way how we're going to input the programming body in C++. So the first one you see is a preprocessor. So a pound sign in programming in C and C++, it is what they are called preprocessor. It means to say that the computer itself and the assembly language are looking for this sharp pound to process okay this uh, code and then the next one is include it identifies that the inclusion of or inside of this uh, delimiter okay so inclusion of file to make it more accurate the file is considered to be a header file just like iostream dot h or it should be io input output dot h okay so the, those are the examples that's why uh, include this inclusion next we have the delimiters okay delimiters so we have the open less than and we have the close which is greater than so those are sign that we can use to encapsulate okay delimiters encapsulates the file it's like this one okay so it encapsulates now 
Encapsulation identifies what is inside of the delimiters. Now let's move on to integer. So integer is a data type. And we have the main function. So this is a function. And um, that function is the main program function. Okay. And then we have the another delimiter which is the begin or open curl brace and the the next one is the close curly brace now the open and curly braces are considered also as delimiters so they encapsulate the human code or the programmers code okay right here here we're going to type our code okay so on this part and that is why the beginning code it should be looked like this so if we're going to identify that is the head okay this one is the head and this one is the neck and those are the body a very simple head neck and body so now let's uh, make a program that will display text on the screen so don't forget the head the neck and the body now here we're going to type our code so let's type uh, sed cout and then we have mabuhay pilipinas okay and then afterwards there's a what do you call code return zero now what is std um, so it is a what do you call um, standard okay that is std stands for standard and uh, we have uh, c out it stands for uh, uh, c language output that is c out okay and we have also the double less than okay this is considered to be the opening string okay. it's what you call the opening string that is what you call and under this we have the double uh, code which is the beginning and the end and they are also considered as delimiters okay so delimiters so delimiters uh, there is what you call begin and end so anything you you type inside these delimiters is considered to be displayed in the screen and then we have return zero so return zero is the returning function returning output to the integer main that is the meaning of return zero returning output to the integer main now uh, the last we have here is this uh, semicolon so semicolon is considered to be identified as the end 
of line okay so the end of line is considered to be semicolon that's why in every line we type semicolon at the end even in return zero but not in the main function the header files and the delimiters so let's check out if the program is actually displaying on our screen so we, you can go to uh, debug and you can go to start without debugging or you can press on the keyboard control f5 so we can wait when the C++ programming language is running okay we have here the output so you will notice um, Mabuhay Pilipinas then there is a what you call press any key to continue that is the uh, output if you are not aware so we can replace the I think the the text okay, under the font so let's replace that so how about this one that's it so uh, to make it more visible so I replaced that the font of this CMT so we have Mabuhay Pilipinas and the lecture is considered to be perfect that's all for today thank you and good luck